The moon is the only other place in the solar system where humans have set foot. Astronauts first landed on the moon in July 1969, with Neil Armstrong famously declaring that he had made one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Like Mercury, the moon is covered in craters where countless asteroid meteorite impacts over millions of years. Some of the craters are over 2 billion years old. The large dark areas you can see are vast black clouds called marine, from the Latin word for sea. In the past, astronomers saw the dark shadows and thought they were vast expanses of water. They are actually ancient lava flows. The lighter features, composed of light-colored rock cuts and mountains known as the lunar highlands. Here at the site museum, you can see the Apollo 10 command module, used on final transmission before the first moon landing. This is next door in our making the modern world's version. Here in the Explorer space area, you can see a piece of moon rock that was collected from the lunar surface by astronaut David Scott in 1971. is not a forecast of potential new home for human kind, and many hope that it will be the next destination for astronauts to explore. In recent decades, a variety of unmanned missions, including orbiting spacecraft, landers, and rovers, have explored Mars. The Beagle 2 lander touched down on Christmas Day in 2003, but never sent a signal back to Earth. For many years, it was assumed to have crashed. Then, in 2015, the orbiting spacecraft found the lander just north of the planet's equator. It had landed successfully, but only a few kilometers from the center of its target area. You can see a map of the two in the sky. Mars contains vivid red color to the presence of iron oxides in its surface waters. The large crack you can see in the middle of the planet is the balance area. A canyon of 4,000 kilometers long and some two and a half kilometers deep. Jupiter is a gas giant made mostly from hydrogen and helium. At over 1,200 times the size of the Earth, it is the largest planet in the solar system. These images are taken by the Cassini spacecraft and clearly show Jupiter's distinctive strengths. These lines of color are made up of different types of gas that are being blown around the planet's surface. The light colored gases are rising upwards, while the dark colored ones are sinking up. Some of the winds on Jupiter blow at almost 500 kilometers per hour, twice as fast as the strongest experience here on Earth. You will have the Aeon, one of Jupiter's largest moons. Jupiter has so many moons circling it that some people describe the planet as having its own solar system. Aeon's surface is covered in countless active volcanoes. Viewing sulfur spaces and deposits. These give the moon its vivid yellow color and its striking appearance as Earth Io nicknamed the Pizza. Io is one of the four Galilean moons of Jupiter, first discovered by and named after the astronomer Galileo over 400 years ago. The other three moons are called Ganymede, Europa, and Hyacin. This view of Io is a combination of images taken by two spacecraft that explored Jupiter and its moons, Voyager in the 1970s and Galileo in the 1990s. This planet looks like Earth, but it is actually an artist's impression of what a distant Earth-like planet might look like. In this imagined world, you can see continents, oceans, and clusters of clouds. The Kepler spacecraft has discovered over a thousand planets in other star systems. We call these worlds spectral planets, and some are believed to have the right conditions to support life. However, vast systems have separated us from most exoplanets. One recently discovered exoplanet, Kepler 452b, is 1400 light years from Earth. 